Hey everybody, it is Stork from Stork Plays Games, and I am here at Saltier Games on the Saltier Games channel with Nathan, Steve, and Jen, and we are going to play Reef. Wait, from... Jen, do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> I'm Jen. That's Jen. <laughs> She's internet famous. And Jen is going to play Reef, maybe, uh, from Next Move Games. Uh, so we are already set up and ready to play a four-player game, so let's do it. Super excited about this. Been waiting to play this since Gen Con. I do have uh, the insert, as you'll see on my channel, from Meeple Realty on my reboxing video. Um, that's They're what it adorable. looks like. They are adorable. You st everybody starts with two. Um, at the end of your turn, you can bring one on. And then at the end of your next turn, you can bring on another, or you can move it adjacent. And they swim. And what they do is, every pattern you score, they get you a bonus point if they're in that pattern. Nice. So uh, They are cool, but they also considerably get in the way so it makes it really hard you think oh wow bonus points but it's not as easy as it sounds so um, we are all ready to start and what we do is on your turn you can take a card one two or three from here you can play a card from your hand you can take this card but you have to pay a point and points are how you score them in the game on the lowest point value card to take the top card off the deck so I would like to re-put these up a different way because I didn't do a smart thing. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take this card. That's going to slide. And that's my turn. All right. We do have a hand limit of five. So the cards you can see on there are top and bottom. So if we were to play the card, the first thing you do is take the uh, coral and place it on your board. The second thing you would do is score the bottom for however many of those patterns are there and I'll walk through those as we get to them. And pretty typical first round, everybody just grabs cards. Mm -hmm. So I would like this guy. And I, I think most people play with the deck face down and then they flip the card, but that's a lot of flipping so I just put it face up. And I do it. have this cool little card tray, but it kind of, in a four-player game, makes it hard to see into, so mm -hmm. I just don't use it in a four-player game. All right, I'm going to play this one. I'm going to take two purple. Got it. And I just immediately place them. So you place them wherever you want on your board. And then Excellent. So I now she's going to score for every instance of yellows. You always score top down. So I get one. So she would get one because she has one yellow. Okay. Yeah, and that's just discarded off to the side. Now, what would this four be? In so this, this four is a great question. So every color that you have that's four high scores three points. So that means any color, four high. Um, and you don't have to stack. So you don't have to stack orange on orange. You're, if this was on your board, it would be a green, three high. Got it. Because looking from oh, above, they don't have to. Downs. They don't have to uniform all the way down. They, no, absolutely don't have to be at all. Well, I'm just going to take anything. this guy. Feeling, okay. feeling brave. Okay. I'm going to play this. Grab two orange. I'm going to place them there and there. Is that where I'm going to place them? I'll place them there and there. Um, and I'm going to score one for my green. That's out. And that's your discard pile now? Yeah, we can discard them wherever. But yeah. We could put it inside here yeah, if you'd like. Perfect. Yeah. Throw them in there. All right, I'm playing this one, so grabbing these. I'm going to set this in between you guys, because Works. we can all kind of reach Works. it. In here, and then I don't have any green three high, so I score zero points. Score zero, because you got some purples you needed. I'm assuming. Otherwise, mm -hmm. that was a terrible play. I'm going to take this one. Nathan, up to you. Yeah, now I'm starting to look at this and feeling a little... <laughs> a lot of times you can't score a bunch of points at the beginning. Right. Well, most of the time you're just trying to build up the corals you need to start chain chaining points. Uh, mm -hmm. So, well, I feel fine. I'm gonna set this this way because nobody cares to see. Yeah, nobody cares. the old ones. Go. Yeah, we'll get rid of these. Let's go. Ugh, that's a good point. Let's go. Let's all go to the mall. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play this. It's two get greens. Two greens. Mm -hmm. And. You get three points for this combo. Yep. 
But you got to place those greens first. So you can't place it over the top of that to get those points. So now you got three. There you go. And that's uh, and I'm going to play this guy, which is two purples, purple, purple. I see what you did there. See what I did there? Set yourself up nicely. So I have two oranges, two high, and they are orthogonal, not mm -hmm. diagonal. So I score five points. Nice. That goes away. Okay, so my two greens there, oh. and then I get four points for that. Absolutely does. Nice. Also, this cool insert, um, I know I talked about it in my reboxing video, but just so you guys know. So there's different coral pieces for player count, so it's already separated for player count. So in a two-player game, you wouldn't use this tray at all. You'd only use that tray. In a three-player game, you go ahead and but you'd use the others, and then four-player uses everything. I'm going to collect my two red-orange-ish and play that there. Now, this so one... So, that means your tallest purple on the board, yeah. every green around it scores two. So, it doesn't so matter So, probably just this. Yeah, because so only any two of those points. are your tallest purple, so you would choose it. Okay. And you're going to get two. Okay. I'm going to go before you do. I want to go before you. That's a fact. <laughs> you picked up on that as well. I want to go. Excellent. Before you. Um, so I'm going to play that guy and get uh, an orange and a purple. Is there a purple? Grab that. I like that insert. Yes, it is very nice. Mm -hmm. Handy for sure. And and what's the maximum height of these guys? Four. Great question. Four. Also, in game is when we run out of a color. Mm -hmm. I was first player, so Nathan will end the game after that happens. Gotcha. And I score nothing. That's also upside down. It's gonna be hard to stack. <laughs> <Thanks> <laughs> All right. Ooh. I get to go now. Yes. I get to go. Yay. I'm gonna take that one. No. Very anticlimactic. Mm. No? No. Did you say no? I did say no. Uh, oh, wrong. I didn't get to go. Jen gets to go. <laughs> sure, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play there and then I get four points. You get them. Jeez. I didn't do this right. I'm still not doing this right. Whose turn is it? I think it's Nathan's. Did Nathan, did you, you go? grabbed a card did on you? Jen's okay. turn. Yeah. She was done. She sure. wasn't. Uh, I almost scored three. I wanted to score more than three, but I didn't. So I guess I'll point that out too. Um, I have a purple and a green, but I have two purples beside a green, but I can't use the same piece of coral twice. You can't double dip. Yeah, so if I had another green here here, I could do it, but I can't use that same. Gotcha. Score three points. that hasn't started stacking at all. Pile high. Pile high. All right, I'm going to go with that guy. I'll take these two. Score four. That's how it's done. See all these points piling up over here? I it's still early. So the tallest yellow on your board, all the purples around it, would score two each. Okay. And 
Did you go? I'm sorry. I did. Go ahead. I'm going to go to play that guy. Score nothing, but I get this. Well, you take the purples first. Guy. So you take the two green first. Take place two those. Greens, place them somewhere. Stretch somewhere, your, somewhere not, not on top that of up. your purple, because if you do, you're going to feel dumb. All right. And then six. Six points. Play that. Did it almost put that on top of the uh, green? We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do that. So that's four. So two of these. So I score here and here or there or wherever, but basically I get six on the story. Nice. Is there not six ones? I thought we had sixes. Six, six. And I score zero points for that. There's a lot of witty banter today, guys. I, just I know it's yeah. all this. Yeah. I was all thinking of how intense uh, this game is. So Suddenly, far. Like, yeah, we're all like deep into this game. Um, none of these are that great for me. So let's try this guy. I was just thinking how it'd be cool if a portion of the proceeds of like purchasing the game would be like donated towards. It would be cool. Helping the barrier yeah, relief or something like that. <laughs> so I will tell you, I guess, a little bit about the games. Um, this is the second from this designer in the series of puzzly, abstracty type games. Mm -hmm. um, Azul was yeah. the first, so they're making Maybe games you've like heard that. Of that. Maybe before. you've heard of One Azul. One Spiel de Jaros last year, um, or this year, Just or whatever a little year game. we're in. So that was the first one. Not so then this well is the known. second one. I don't know if Azul Stained Glass is him or not. No, it's him. I don't know if it's in this series or if it's just sort of a spin off. I don't know if there will be another one for 2019 in addition to Azul Stained Glass. Because I think Stained Glass is coming out still in 2018, is the plan. Just in time for Christmas, is my prediction. Christmas. 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 Did you score anything? Did five. Okay. Good job. Good job. I play games. I need something. Well, let's take this guy. We'll see what happens. We're going to get a green. 
Yeah. Green's the magical color, apparently. Green. Purple. I have to. I'm pretty sure that none of the cards have been shuffled. Now have the. Uh, <laughs> so you can. The cards on. The, the coral pieces on top never help the card. And I score oh, yeah. no. five <laughs> points for each of these. So that's 10. Yep. Wow. And I'm going to get five points for this right here. And I'm going to take this, get two of these. Apparently orange, but they sure look red to me. Yeah. And um, score two points for that guy. And two points for that guy, so four. Is that two or more? Yes. Tall? Two or more. <laughs> I'm still thinking of what I'm going to do, so he's fine. All right, I'm going to go with this. Oh, no, that is a good play. So this one I actually can't help myself on because it's any color. Ooh, the 20 coin. You could do much more. Mm. And he's got a 20 coin and more. Um, Wait a minute. Chess rules. You put it down. I didn't say anything. We all watched it. 10 points, right? No. Two, four. No, that's not four. It doesn't matter. I could only score twice. That's why I had it there. Two, yeah. You want it back where it was? You want it back where it was? Yes. Smarty. For the principle of it. That's why I put it there. I forgot that doesn't score. It's not We higher. practice ethical Two, gaming here four. at Saltire, just so everyone knows. Four. I score four. Two purple. I got two purples. Got two purples. <laughs> got two purples. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> And then I scored four there. You do. So you scored four. You can zoom over there. Switching out lots of monies. Mm -hmm. Doing some math. Whose turn is that? My turn? I pulled a card. I'm paying a coin and taking that guy. The not green. So the coin goes on the lowest numbered one. So somebody gets to just straight steal your money now. <laughs> Done. Nice. Um, man. Yeah, I'm doing that. Thank you for the contribution. Arms for the poor. Shh, don't even want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn? I recently Arms watched that one. So good. Love it. I think if I get another tattoo, that might be my next one. Yeah? Is, is uh, Robin Hood dressed as the stork. I think I like that. I like that, too. It's your turn. Why are you looking at me all weird, camera guy? <laughs> camera guy. <laughs> He's all, like, giving me stuff. Stinky. Director? Director, my fault, my fault. He's our silent partner. Yeah, actually, true. <laughs> He sits here and painstakingly watches us <laughs> play <laughs> like, Oh, that's a stupid move. Every He's turn. <laughs> Every so turn. These like. guys are awful. Yeah. Awful. You should just add in your own voiceover as you're editing <laughs> and make fun of us. Just like Mystery <laughs> Science Theater <laughs> style. <laughs> yeah. It's like ruin. And Sword's about to make the dumbest move of the... No, there's a dumber one. Oh, wow. Back to back. I didn't think it was going to happen, but there it is, kids. There it is. It was that moment he realized he messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Is it you? I, I've been not I gone. <laughs> Come on, You've people. been not gone. I've been not gone. I've not gone in a while. Oh, so the camera can see it. Uh, okay. There, there we go. go. Nope, still no. Oh, there we go. There you go. Way to ruin Why the whole I video, Josh. Ruin everything. What just happened? 
That was not the card I wanted to play. No! <laughs> and that's when he realized. Oh, my God. <laughs> So your tallest purple does not exist. So. No, he does have a tallest purple. It's right there. Oh, okay. And let's look at the yellows around it. Let's go ahead and count them. <gasps> Zero. Oh, but he got his two greens. Okay. Did you take two greens? He did. He took his two greens, yes. Okay. He most certainly did. Sucks to be Josh is going to go cry in the corner. So wait till you see my next card where I get purples. <laughs> that I meant to stack mm -hmm. right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. Oh, he made two greens. Why are you taking two greens? You didn't play a card. You grabbed it. Oh, I grabbed it. I meant to. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wah, wah. What did I? <laughs> hide the frag, flag and frag, a frag and flag and hide the flutin. Oh my gosh! What was that? Can we insert a graphic of a dude just falling off a cliff? Because that's what I've done in the last two moves. Just like you can take off the hat, and go ahead and give it a big palm to the forehead. Oh, I've been sitting here like this. It's just. The camera's top view, I think, not zoomed in on my other Oh, no, face. there's both views going on at the same time. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Leland saves the day again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> the director. Uh, Supreme Overlord of Video Services. <laughs> Babe, are you done? I'm not. I'm no, sorry. what I'm hearing is this Nathan's turn. <sighs> no, I actually have a move set up for my... Nice are you going to do that one, or are you going to not do it two turns in a row like I did? I'm going to do it. <laughs> are you going to do it? Okay. Because I'm going to collect two yellow. Wooding! Oh my gosh. And I'm going to score two points. Two green. Is that how you score points? Oh my god, now I get the game. Charge. I, d I understand now. All right, so um, I'm going to play this real. guy. And I'm going to collect my two points right after I collect my two green guys. Nice. Yeah. Grab the card that I meant to grab a turn ago. You're lucky it's still there. I am very lucky it's still there. So we are getting down. We are. We're trying to run out of a We're color. We're getting down tonight. Dun, 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 dun. The greens are getting low. Get low, get low, get low. Two points on you. Two to points the on you. It's your turn, to Steve. The wild. Okay. <laughs> No. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh uh. Family friendly show. No, this is, uh, nope, we're not getting sued. <laughs> yeah, can't even, not even singing nothing. Uh uh. Mm. Jen was singing the jingle from her uh, home business, the house cleaning service, from the windows to the walls. She cleans everything in between. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Which is nothing. From the window to the wall, if you notice, there's nothing in there, between you, there. You can watch this <laughs> she play. only cleans windows and walls. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Nathan. Dweek, dweek. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Haas and Pfeffer. Is it Don't you? It. No, it's Nathan. Yeah. It's going to be a good one, too. It's not. It's going to be good. How do you do on this one? Starting to get nervous. Let's put this guy here. So, what's the in game trigger? We run out of a color. Oh, really? So, that's why I kind of gave earlier a when update. I said in game triggers when we run out of a color. <laughs> well, that's exactly why I, that's why I asked, is because I remembered that. <laughs> you were just you confirming. Remember? Yeah. So, Do perhaps I should have been laying more things and not. More so cards. what happens is at there the is end, a limit of five cards, so correct. be careful. And at the end, so when the game trigger ends, uh, whatever you have left in your hand, you will score, but you only score that pattern one time. So if like I had a thing where it was like one point for every green, and normally I would score five, I would score one. So all the cards in your hand will still score. You just don't take the core off pieces. 
So it's not a bad idea to have a bunch of cards in your hand if you have those patterns on your board. Yeah. So then I score, I think, just five points for this combo. Yep. Two yellow. And I'm not going to score any points. Play that. Uh, take two purple. And score one, two, four points. I'm going to take two yellow. I'm going to drop them on the floor. And I'm going to score six off of that. I don't even think I asked this. If you get two, can you stack those two that yeah. you just pulled on top of each other? No, Jen, don't take that card. Sorry. <sighs> My turn? Yes. Alright, well, since I took that card, I'm going to do this. And we are going to score two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Mm. Well, there you have it. Oh, that sucks. I guess I should show that card on camera. You want that card. Where did the rules go? I want to make sure that's not any one color. I think it's the same color. I'm pretty positive it's the same color. Uh, I score 10 for that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, we're dangerously low on yeah. all of that. Yeah. This guy, sorry, do that guy. I scored it correctly. Score four points. Take two of these happy fellas. Now I end the game all in one thunderclap. I believe it is mine. If you take either of those, we're going to have issues. Could she has divorced go. you once over Grackles and she'll do it over Reef. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you still get to go, though. But you can't take the Coral, if that's what you're concerned about. Oh, no, I just want to do my bottom action. You still get to go, because I Nathan will end the game. So if he takes those, you yeah. go, he goes. I don't get a go. Okay. Then we score whatever's on our card one time, each card one time. Well, I could do this multiple that times. You'll still so get to go no matter what. Good. Yeah. I saved a marriage today. You did. <laughs> 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 score five. The only person who doesn't get to score their card multiple times is me. <laughs> oh, that's a three. Do we just end it? Okay. Yeah. So oh. you get to go. Um, so I don't take the green. You do take the green. Oh, I do There's, take they, the green. They, they, if they Wonderful. run out, yeah. If there was no okay. yellows left, you wouldn't be able to. Um, do it. I'm just gonna stag these little pretties there, and then I've got three, or two, excuse me, two rows or two eight. columns. Of, so I get eight. Oh, not a twenty. <laughs> excuse me. A bunch more money down there in that one. There's that. <clears throat> So I can play that guy, and you don't get any greens. Then. I don't get any greens, but I get three points for all those that are adjacent to each other. Mm -hmm. So that'd be two. So six. I get six then. Nice. Not near as nice as I needed it to be. 
Okay, so now we score the cards in our hand every pattern one time. So like this, I have multiple times, I'll only score it once, which is three. That's the only card I have. I have this four So you pattern. can always score, if you have this, you can always score the one yes. time. So, you're so gonna this score guy that. is going to score one time for four. Can we grab those? Sure. Five. And then... Five and put a one back. And then this one, which is I'm only going to get one point out of, correct? Correct. No. And then this one I don't have yet. Yet. I don't, don't have at all. Yep. Everybody got all their points? I believe so. Okay, we had them up. Mine's a tough ad. Yeah. I just barely lost. I got 53. 37. I got 40 from my first time playing. I almost won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Al almost. Yeah. So, uh, I'll start off. I love the coral theme. I'm a big, big uh, fan of ocean. I used to have saltwater aquariums. Uh, I, just, I just love this kind of thing. Which is funny because honestly, normally I don't care about themes. Theme doesn't make or break the game for me. But Liar Dinosaur Island. Dinosaur Island uh, is one of those kind of exceptions. And this is too, that I really love the theme. He loves um, all things dinosaurs. I'm going to throw that out there right now. Mm -hmm. Rawr. <laughs> Just saying. And he, what he doesn't really give a toss about is Alice in Wonderland or anything mm -hmm. Disney mm -hmm. or uh, anything Universal. saltwater. Yeah, mm -hmm. Universal. Yeah. Nope. Or so... Um, Marvel. Yeah, he is. I love the pieces. I love the three D aspect of it. Yes. Um, I I like Azul. I am the weird guy that likes Azul better than Sagrada, and I like Reef better than Azul. Uh, I like them both. I like them both. So um, they're all good. I have all of them. Mm -hmm. But and my as I've said in other videos on my channel, my giant problem with Sagrada is I'm not good at it. <laughs> so there's I that. I can attest to that. Verify <laughs> that. So uh, Steve. Um, and there's just so much to like about this. Um, from the tactile reward you get from stacking these and mm -hmm. placing these and just um, just manipulating your board, the 3D aspect of it is 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 kind of puzzling but also very rewarding. Um, it's brightly colored, so it really catches your eye. It's yeah. great, got a pretty good table presence for such a small game. Um, and but man, it's got like some some uh, like strategy and like um, like pattern planning that really like get your brain uh, working in a different way than probably what a lot of games do so there's just a lot to like about this Miss Jen um, I agree I really like our pieces um, the bright colors they remind me of the um the, what are they, Duplo? The, the, Duplo blocks. The yeah. blocks that you played with when you were little. Like, yeah. just the the shapes and the, the bright colors. So, um, yeah, I enjoy this a lot. We don't own it, but we will have to add it to our library. Yeah. You can get it on the way out. It's Saltier Games. Can I? <laughs> Where is Saltier Games located? Well, conveniently <laughs> located underneath your butts. <laughs> Family game. And store. Nathan. All right. Bring so. us home, my man. So first like? off, like it's not just it's not just the brightly colored, but these components they're they're weighty, they're chunky. Yeah. They're, yeah. These things are gonna last. These are like things that Only your kids go in here your kids and grandkids could end up stepping on later, you know. Or <laughs> in their but I mean, they you know the little kids are gonna end up chewing on them and they would still survive. They're nice and chunky. Uh, I that chew being on said, them all the time. not a choking hazard at all. But uh, uh, <laughs> that's what we have him for. Yeah, yeah right? exactly. That's the nurse. right. Go ahead. Um, so, uh, <laughs> other than the obvious and the things that we've, we've already mentioned, um, what I love the most about this game is the moment that I got done playing it. You saw, I just played it for the first time. This is it. And I still lost. Who knew? Um, you did a great job. Everybody. You we beat did me, not, and I played this before. We did not do any playthrough with this either. We literally sat down and told Nathan, you'll get it. It'll be fine. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and, and we didn't do too bad, didn't right? Too bad at all. But like as soon as I, I was done, the very I, I can I, I was like, well, I 
as soon as I play it again, like I want to play it again, like right, right now. So <laughs> the I was like, well, now I know how to do this better. If I next time I can do this and this, and I feel like there's like one of those things like both Sagrada and Azul, where like I'll end up be I'll, I'll be thinking about it like later tonight. Like I'll be laying in bed trying to go to sleep, and like I could have done that, and I just can't wait to break it out again. So, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to the having this in my house as well. Next time you play it, we will add the fish, so it'll make it even harder, nice. though. That way you don't And, get a yes, I'm, I, <laughs> like we were talking about the fish expansion, I really like that. And it feels like they, they, this has a, a forward potential as well as, like, additional expansions. But I, if it if it needs it, I would be surprised, because the fish, fish expansion sounds spectacular. It was really satisfying playing as is. Yeah, it absolutely does not need it. Um, but mm -hmm. I can, so I've played it with uh, my wife and another couple. And I love the fish expansion. The other wife loves the fish expansion. My wife did not like the fish expansion. The other husband. husband did not like the fish expansion. So <laughs> now, theme wise, I could actually take or leave it um, because this could have been like Lego Land or whatever. There's there's the future potential of like um, of reskinning this for a bunch of different uh, type of things uh, and re-releasing in that fashion. But um, what uh, like the theme is really kind of thin. But it works for what it's supposed well, to it's do. Some, it's it's supposed to be right? coral, which is growing, and well, that makes sense. Well, what's the age on this too? I feel like it's simple enough that you could play yeah, it with a family. Yeah, I really do. Thirty to forty. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you definitely get the kids in there. Yeah. Um, but to finish my thought on this, like spectacular. Can't wait to play it again. The big thing for me is like we were talking about themes. There's only like a couple themes that I don't like. Like I'm open to all sorts of themes, unless it's just straight offensive or uh, forgive me. I, I'm just gonna need some time to heal from fantasy because for the past 20 years we've been doing nothing but fantasy themed things. I just wanted to I, this, as we were all this talking, show like, how quick to you can just throw this back in the center. Yeah, so. yeah. That, then, yeah. That insert is beautiful too. Yeah, yeah beautiful insert. Good shout out there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it works. I can't wait to play it again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe at Saltier Games. Uh, any, com any comments you've got, throw them down below. Love click, to read them. Click, click like. like. Click like. Thank subscribe. you, Jen. Subscribe. subscribe. Please don't make me be the only person that comments. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why she's YouTube famous. <laughs> <laughs> follow the store. Follow me. Follow everyone at on uh, Twitter or Instagram. Don't follow me, because that's weird. I'll call the cops. Follow Steve. <laughs> Out to my car. No, Saltier Games and Store Place Games. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. See you, family.